Well, now it was time to try out for the NBA. But I had a bit of a problem. You remember that vision of me being on national television at UCLA? Cameras didn't quite catch me at the end of the bench. So my coach Tom and I, we created our own NBA marketing plan. We get out the NBA statistics, and we looked up all the worst teams in the NBA. The Utah Jazz, right at the bottom. Last in almost every statistical category. We called them on the telephone. Thought maybe they'd give me a chance. The coach and general manager, Frank Layden, answered the phone. No secretary back then. Said, Mark Eaton, never heard of him. Send me a tape. We did, and years later, Frank claimed all he received was 30 minutes of me taking on and off my warm-ups at UCLA. But Frank came out and watched me play in a summer league in Southern California. He pulled me aside, and he said, son, I can tell you've been working. He said, I'll make you a deal. He said, you come to our training camp a month early before any other players get there get on our weight training program, work with our coaches, get on our running program, and I'll give you a chance to play for one year. And I said, coach, that's all I'm looking for is a chance. So I showed up in Salt Lake City in September of 1982. I thought I was in pretty good shape. I wasn't even close. So I did what Frank asked me to do. And by February 1st, I was on my game, and I was a starting center of the Utah Jazz. Now, Frank was gambling. He was taking a chance on me. He had to. He had to do something. The Jazz were losing money, and they were losing games. They had never had a winning season. Frank had become their coach just three months earlier. In fact, we used to give away posters of other teams' players to get people to come to the arena. <laughs> True story. Magic Johnson poster night, Larry Bird poster night, Dr. J poster night, give Kareem a birthday cake poster night. The old joke was someone would say, hey, coach, what time's the game tonight? He'd say, well, uh, what time could you be there? Frank started trying to pull us together as a team. He said, if you guys will stop competing with each other and start cooperating with each other, the individual honors will come in. <laughs> 